What's the most important thing for the Yankees this weekend? Well, I think it's to make sure everyone's healthy. Um, you know, the last thing you, you want to be is banged up going into the playoffs. Um, you know, I feel really good about where Severino and Paxton are right now. I mean, I think Tanaka, people are really excited about him in the playoffs uh, just because he's had such a good track record. But to me, it's just get through this weekend unscathed. Uh, you, you can't have anybody go down. Um, that you're probably not going to catch the Astros, right? So don't push guys. If if someone's banged up, if someone's got a sore groin or, or sore shoulder or whatever, you know, let them rest a little bit and get ready for October. Do players think about home field? Because, you know, it's not like Houston ran away with this. The Yankees have not played well. So it was that just not on their mind about trying to catch Houston and getting home field? No, I mean, the Yankees absolutely wanted home field. I think they, they saw back in 2017 against the Astros that that advantage was important. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that the Tampa Bay Rays just outpitched um, the Yankees last, last series. And the Yankees, you know, they, they couldn't do anything against Tampa. And it's not a great sign that they couldn't do anything about against the Tampa pitching if you do have to go into a, a series against Houston and all their good right-handed pitching. Now, another question that we were just batting around... Does how you finish have any impact on how you play in the playoffs, either hot or cold? Um, no. And th this is why I say that. There are teams that have gotten hot and have stayed hot, but there's also teams that have gotten hot and lost in the first series. Baseball is such a weird game, and especially in October with the days off and all of the travel. I think you, you throw even more... Um, you know, variabilities into the equation. And that's why I actually do like the Yankees come, come October because they have been, they've gone through so much adversity during the season. They've had everything thrown at them, and they continue to win no matter what the situation. And that bodes well for an October run. Any concern about Glaber? A little bit. I mean, guys, this, this is a really long season, and I, I played a long time, and you know, whether it was me or other guys I played with or played against, sometimes the guy that you, you see in the middle of the year in July, August, he's beat up going into September, October. Um, it, it happens. It absolutely happens. I remember the year Miguel Cabrera won the MVP. He was completely beat up by the time the playoffs came around and, and was limping around the field. You do not want that to happen if you're the Yankees. That's why I say this weekend, I mean, listen, if you have to just cede home field advantage to the, the Astros and say, you know what, we're not going to get there and rest these guys, you've got to rest them because rest does help. Aaron Boone, your manager of the year in the American League? He's mine, but I think Rocco Baldelli is going to get a whole lot of votes. And I think there's also a, a bunch of writers, that these guys that are going to be voting for this, that are going to look at the Yankees' payroll and say, I don't care how many guys they had injured. They still had a $200 million payroll. Um, and the Twins were not expected to, to win 100 games, which they just need one more win to get to 100 games. If you made me put that bet in Las Vegas that the Twins would win 100, I'm taking the under. So I, I give Rocco Baldelli a ton of credit. So I, I think those will be the top two. I think Bob Melvin in, in Oakland is going to get a lot of votes because everyone always counts out the A's and they just find a way to make it to the playoffs pretty much every year. And um, So I think you're going to see those three guys get the votes.